I remember getting a letter from Stanford when I was in junior high and I was like, ah, that's a nerdy school. I don't want to go there. And then the spring of 1990, I'm watching the tournament. And it's like, and Jennifer Azey leaves Stanford to its first national championship. And I was like, wait, what? <laughs> so I go digging for that letter. And uh, that summer, I ended up at Stanford at basketball camp. Josh Martin is down to eight. Sherman Smith with a shot from the baseline and three hit it. I actually had an interview with a company in East Palo Alto. And this was for a development company. And during this interview, I am sweating, nauseous, dizzy, freaking out. And it was all just because I wasn't ready to walk away from basketball. So I wind up back at Stanford, like coaching basketball camp, because I don't know what else to do. And Tara's like, Charmin, you should really think about coaching. I was like, no, Tara, I'm not you. Like, I don't want to be a coach. And she's like, no, I think you'd be really good at it. She makes a call to Boston College. They had an open spot. And that was what? 18 years ago now. It's a great honor and a pleasure to introduce our 10th women's basketball head coach, someone who has earned the right to be here because she's exceptional in every way, Sharman Smith. The place that makes me extremely happy, being on the basketball court or being in the classroom. I wasn't willing to be a head coach just anywhere. And it wasn't till leaving for the WNBA and having kind of like this opportunity that you just can't say no to. Be the head coach uh, in the Pac-12, the place you call home in the Bay Area is really a no-brainer to give it a shot. Being the first black women's basketball coach here at Cal, I wanna do a good job. I've kind of been used to navigating through this world kind of as the only one uh, for, for a lot of times. And I didn't really realize how uncomfortable that is for a lot of people uh, until I got to Cal and started to understand that it doesn't have to be that, that way, it shouldn't be that way. In my career, there have been times where I felt like they don't want me to speak my mind. They don't want to hear what I say, but I am not one of those black women, I guess. I can't be silent on the issues that affect me and affect my student athletes. And some people would say, well, you know, that's for Dawn Staley to be doing. She's won a national championship. She has an Olympic gold medal, all of these things, right, that I don't have. But what I do have is love for my players, love for myself. And I have faith that if I'm doing the right things, things will work out how they're supposed to work out.